In this video, we're going to talk about gift certificates and the two ways that you can handle gift certificates in your store. The first way being allowing Quail to handle all aspects of the gift certificate process to include numbering and printing them. The second would be for a store that has printed gift certificates or they purchase them from a local office supply store or buy them online um, through a print house and those gift certificates may come pre-populated with a number already printed on them. We'll show you how to handle that as well in Quail. Before using gift certificates, you'll want to jump into the settings to make sure they're uh, configured properly. To do this, go ahead and head over to your store menu, to gift certificates, and here is your gift certificate uh, settings. The first section we'll uh, revisit later, but this will be your open gift certificates. And below that is your design. Uh, now, it'll have your store name here, and you can name this anything. For the sake of changing it, we'll name it Chris's Video uh, Tutorial Store. And you can change the watermark as well from a quail to a state. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick coins for the sake of uh, this tutorial. And right here, this is what your printed gift certificate will look like. Now, if Quail's handling all aspects of the certificate process for you, such as um, printing it, um, this is what it will look like. Now that you've got your gift certificate set up, it's time to go ahead and sell one to a customer. When a customer comes into your store, and they want to purchase a gift certificate, on the new transaction screen, you'll head right up here to the gift certificate button. And for the sake of this uh, tutorial, they'll purchase one $100 uh, gift certificate. And for the first one, we're going to let Quail handle the numbering. So we enter the amount, say issue the gift certificate, select how they'll be paying for that. We'll pick cash uh, for this, and we'll collect the payment. And they're ready to go. Go ahead and print the gift certificate. And just like we set up in a previous screen, uh, Chris's video tutorial store is the title, $100 with my coin watermark. It already assigned me a certificate number and an issue date. You'll go ahead and print this for the customer. And that will be all that's required to enter your first gift certificate. Now, when you go to store and gift certificates, like I mentioned before, we'll revisit this area. You can see that I just a few minutes ago issued this gift certificate. My issue number, that's what was uh, signed by Quail with the amount and the balance because nothing's been used yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a, another gift certificate and we'll, we will assign a number for it. And we're gonna do 200 for this one and we're gonna assign our own number. Now, this could be either because you don't like the numbering scheme Quail gives you and you want a short four digit number. This could be because your pre-printed gift certificates from the office supply store already have a number on them. Um, but we'll go ahead and enter one, two, three, four, just to make it easy to remember. Again, we can say that this person paid with a debit card for this sale. We'll collect the payment and we'll print. Now, it'll let you print, and this is if you are just assigning the number, if you are going to be uh, handing the customer, like I said, a pre-printed uh, gift certificate, you would just enter the uh, dollar amount on that gift certificate, and that number, gift certificate number, would be what you would have entered in, and Quail will have recorded that value. But if you're printing from Quail, you can go ahead and print this and hand it over to the customer. Again, we'll go to the store and look at the gift certificates. Now you can see that we've got two gift certificates, um, each for $100 and $200 respectively, with the full balance. Now that you've sold a few gift certificates, it's time to process some sales with those. So when a uh, 
customer who's received the gift certificate comes in to purchase items, you'll go ahead and create a new transaction like any other sale. So we'll go ahead and just call this a gift for $65. Again, calculate payment just like any other sale. And you'll wanna go ahead and hit gift certificate or certificate. And we'll go ahead and start with the, the first one, the $100 gift certificate. So we'll enter in that gift certificate number. And Quail will automatically pull the current balance and uh, remaining balance when using that gift certificate for this purchase. And you'll just calculate change and finalize the transaction. And again, my computer asked me to print. Uh, this will be your receipt that prints up. I'm just going to cancel for this tutorial. Now let's go ahead into the gift certificate menu area again, and you'll see our gift certificate we just used originally was worth $100. Since we uh, purchased $69.06, the remaining balance is $30.94 on that gift certificate. Now you can do the same thing for your uh, gift certificate that um, you assign the number to. We can do that again with a $20 purchase. And again, we'll use certificate. And that gift number was 1234. And again, it's going to pull $200 gift certificate and the remaining balance will be $178.75. And we can calculate change. And again, printing my receipt here, I'll go ahead and cancel. And we can just check. And you'll see here, original issued amount was 200 and our current balance is 178.75. The last part of this video will be showing you how to use the remaining balance of a gift certificate and then what your gift certificate uh, menu should look like when that uh, certificate is no longer visible. So we'll go ahead and create a quick sale. Gift again, and we'll do uh, $300. We know uh, gift certificate 1234 was originally for $200 and we have $178.75 remaining on that gift certificate. So the total balance of this transaction is $318.75. So when we say calculate payment, and we're gonna call it a gift certificate on one, two, three, four, we can see that we have $178.75 remaining, and we're gonna owe $140. So in this case, we're gonna to have to go back up to the uh, payments made and split the payment. We'll need to modify our gift certificate to match the remaining balance and then enter in the uh, secondary payment which we'll use a card for that for the remaining $140. So you see $178.75 on the balance we've got that matched and the remaining balance we've paid by card. So we calculate change, no change, and we have finalized the transaction. Again my receipt would print here and if we go over to store gift certificates, we'll see that uh, gift certificate 1234 no longer has an outstanding balance. One last thing I want to show you is if you try to use a gift certificate once the value has been extinguished, what it looks like. So if you go over to store gift certificates, You'll notice that gift certificate 1234 no longer has a balance, is no longer listed on our outstanding gift certificates list. But let's say the clerk didn't collect the gift certificate and that customer comes back a month later. If we try to create a sale again with that gift certificate, we use certificate and that was 1234 you'll see an invalid certificate issue number. It won't let you apply any balance to uh, this ticket and you won't be able to reuse it again.